What's up nerds, I'm a Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome back to Nobody Saves the World. We are still a zombie, which we should... Wait, how's it going? Okay. Which we should change, because the zombie keeps losing health. And we don't want that. We are in... Yeah, wherever we are right now. And I haven't played this in a while, so I really don't know... How to do what I want to do. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Let's see if we can do anything with... Oh, damn. Yes, we can do stuff with a snail. That's interesting. Because passively we do our little slime trail and also we our critical hits deal more damage or we have a higher critical hit chance on the slime. Something like that. Let's, let's check it out. Uh, like... Nope. This. It's been a while, it's been quite a while. Hit slow baddies with tear bursts, tear bursts, great crit status afflicted baddies. Alright. That's easy enough. Crits do 25% extra damage versus status afflicted baddies and we have a 15% to critically hit. That's awesome. Have you heard of the inventor of Richard? He created the Morningstar power plant back when the desert was still grasslands. A real character. Part of the or original League of Wizards, they say. Do they now? As always, the question is, who is they? Doesn't really matter, though. <laughs> also, since this is the regular attack, it doesn't take any mana, which is great. It is long range, but it has a slight uh, charge-up timer. Oh, damn. Alright, so we start in one direction, basically. Those things don't really... Oh yeah, great, that worked. Okay, one thing was hitting status-affected baddies, and the other one was critting them. Great! Now we got two quests. Let's redeem this. Get to D rank. Awesome. One more and we get the mermaid. Interesting, interesting. Slime slide unlocked. Charge to slide quickly on a trail of slime or of six. No. <laughs> Charge to slide quickly on a trail of slick snail snot. Trail applies slow move speed plus 100%. Costs 25 mana per second. All right. Also redeem this one and see what else we got. Tear burst hit more slow baddies. Awesome. And slime slide sprint with slime slide. Hold to slide longer. Awesome. Uh, now we can also, I, I mean, as always, I really want to put Poison Tipped in, because just having status afflicted enemies, wait a second, charge time for abilities is reduced is pretty dang cool. I mean... The slime trail slows. Then we could poison and we could stun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is an interesting idea. Let's see what else we could do. <laughs> Dodge would be fun. Arrow flurry, no thank you. Gallop. <laughs> we could do slime slide and gallop, but that would do anything. Patrick is fun, but wouldn't really work on this one. Consume, no thank you. Detonate poison would be an interesting idea. Oh my goodness. In fact, that's also... I think that it, that also counts as a status ailment, right? Oh, that would be interesting. Water spray to push the enemies away, also interesting. Either water spray or maybe zombite. You know what, let's, let's go with Zombite for now. <laughs> so... By the way, yeah, that works. That works for the quest. We don't have to hit anything. And wow, that is... Big slime. So we do damage, we slow them on a bigger scale. And we deal extra damage. That's interesting, the snail is interesting. We do need mana now, though. So let's destroy some stuff. 
Oh no, oh, I didn't, I didn't really... What, sure! <laughs> hey, you! You slowed, oh, that's, that's awesome. It slows even those guys down. Love it. Uh, wrong button. This is the button I want to sprint with. Slime slide. We did 60 out of 100. I just don't know if that's like... It can't be seconds. But whatever. <laughs> we did 60 out of 100. Whatever that means. You. It's so hot. But I really need to find the oasis they call the Gulp. I've heard that it contains some great treasures. Quest discovered. The gulp. Oh, do, do I need to... Wait. Do I just need to find the gulp? Yeah, find the gulp. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, there is something here. That is awesome. I love it. Also... <clears throat> <laughs> That's pretty interesting. And yep, that counted as a status infliction. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. By the way... We do have some upgrade. No, we only have one upgrade token. Yeah, that's not gonna do shit. We can get the mana fairy down there, though. I mean, <laughs> holy shit. That is quite some amazing... That is quite amazing. Like, everything we do basically inflicts status, mo uh, status effects, so... Technically, the snail should be incredible for boss fights. I think. And we are done with this quest. We're gonna get this mana fairy. Here, have a free mana upgrade. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Mighty kind. Okay, I just took a look if we are recording and if we're re recording audio because I haven't recorded in a while. Thankfully, we do. <laughs> I keep saying I should... Check it beforehand, and I keep forgetting. Slime slide. Did that. Great. Ooh, almost level up. Tear burst hit more slow baddies. And slime slide too. Slow baddies with slime slide. Okay, that's that's cool. That's doable. And what do you... Ancient robot. Oh yeah, of course. Now, we're gonna go up here. Let's see. This is... Open, openable from the other side. I'm gonna go in here and see. Okay. Again, openable from the other side. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. I can just kill things from back here. And they just make more zombies. I can basically clear out this whole dungeon without even being able to open it. We, we still hear them do stuff. I mean, they're about to die, all of them, so they haven't found any more enemies, but we actually just did that. <laughs> Doesn't really help us with anything right now, but we just, we just did that. That's awesome. Wrong button. Right button. Okay. There's the robot. That's way too big. The clank. Level 19. Did, wait. Did, did we do the clank? I'm confused. Why does it say it's... <laughs> is that where we just were? No, it can't be it. Whatever, let's go down here, maybe? Down here, there are two items. Uh, two quests down here, so let's go back. But first we're gonna switch to... wrong button. <laughs> first we're gonna switch to the horse for speed. Oh, wait. The snail is small, so we can do this. We slow and we hit afflicted baddies. That's awesome. Now we go in here, we slow with slime slide. Slow some more with slime slide and we tear burst afflicted baddies. Slow baddies with slime slide. For whatever reason, that didn't count. No idea how or why or why not. Doesn't matter though, we're gonna slow some more baddies. We're gonna slow him in fields where we can actually run away from them. Uh, 
small maze kind of thing. Just wait, we need to get out of here, which is this way. Gotcha. Yeah, this is just a small maze, but it's not really that hard because you can see everything uh, at once. And we can get up there. All right. Just slow them. Slow them a bit more. Come on. That should count. Kinda? Wait. Why, why does it only count as slowing two baddies? I don't get it. Because we were already at one. And... Oh, interesting. The <laughs> Would you please stop that? All of you. Okay, okay. The burning really sucks. But whatever. We done burning? We done now? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, as always, I don't really understand. Oh, maybe, maybe, once again, we cannot, it doesn't count as slow if the enemy doesn't move. Possibly. Oh, visitor, let me give you some wisdom. Life is like a maze. Race to the finish and you'll miss the treasures along the way. Um, okay, thank you, I guess? <laughs> like, is there any reason or rhyme to this cave? Doesn't really look like it. Alright, we got this. Where are we? Okay. This one. Okay, we are here and we want to get down there. Yeah, gotcha. That's what I said before. I just had to remind myself <laughs> that that's exactly where I want to go. Okay, also, is there anything if we go to the right? No, absolutely nothing. So we're gonna go over here for a little save and now we're gonna go through them and hopefully that should count yeah they counted as being slowed great that thing as well because it moved awesome now beforehand I had to slow them with my slime trail before they counted as having a debuff and me having bigger crit chance or just bigger crit damage. But now since every attack I do poisons and can stun, it actually just counts if I just auto attack them, which is awesome. But I wanna slow enemies with my slime trail, of course. That once again didn't really work. Why? Slow baddies with slime slide. Why? They, they, they are slowed with slime slide. I don't know why that doesn't count as being slowed with slime slide. Maybe I slowed them beforehand with my regular slime? I don't know. I really don't know. Doesn't really matter. We're gonna keep playing the snail for now, so... We'll, we'll, find, we'll find a way to get that quest. All right, next part of the map, Tarview Lake, level 20. Awesome. Now there's something, oh, that's an, ah, okay, that's a tunnel, gotcha. There's a house here. Give it a password, one, two, three, four, or password. I think it was password. You check out, going in. Great, got the password. Was it one of the quests? No, it wasn't. Is that a secret dungeon? Oh yeah, that's that's the thieves guild. The thieves good. <laughs> oh my goodness, the the main guy there looks horrible. Oh, we made it here, bro. I'm glad to see you again. Still owe you one for rescuing me. I think our boss is waiting to talk to you. I yes, <laughs> I've heard about you. I hear you're quite talented indeed. So if you're looking for your stars, well, if you want them back, you're going to have to steal them. They don't call us thieves guilt for our generosity, you know. Yoink. Gotcha. He took the stars. You all saw it. And you know what that means? We have a new member. You're one of us now. Really? 
by stealing back those stats. Like, it wasn't really gotta steal them, and I, I really was like, okay. <laughs> by stealing back those stars, you were also stolen the rank of lesser peon. <laughs> but uncle, that was my rank. If you hope to prolong the rank of senior peon, you'll have to further prove your talents. To show that your capabilities are up to our standards. Of having low standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. You have rescued knife, bro. A good start. Yeah, yeah. Keep helping out the members, and we might give you a promotion. All right. We just we are in three guilds now. Because why not? Health increase. Okay, great. Everything. I just want more critical hits. Maybe. <laughs> uh, thief's guild health. Help some thieves, gotcha. You. Hey, you really want to become one of us now, huh? I don't know if you really... If we really need someone as clumsy as you. You think you've got what it takes? Why don't you prove it? Meet me in the meter trail. We'll test your skills there. We'll test your skills there. Laser Mace. Meet the follower one in the meter trail. Laser Mace? Sounds interesting. Here you that new guy who can transform. Hmm, that's a rather useful ability. Actually, you wanna join me? On the next big heist, I think our form changing ability could come in handy. The hardware store in the Mew Town recently got a big shipment of fancy new daggers. If we're able to go and secure some, we'll be better equipped for the heists to come. Alright, meet me by the hardware store in Mew Town. Stay low and don't get spotted. Sure. Sure. Have you noticed the aliens that have been hanging around recently? To be honest, the disguises are quite good. I'm the only one here who noticed, thanks to my strong sense of smell. I've heard the rumors about a UFO somewhere in the lower curse hills. That's probably how they got here. Say, would you be willing to go there for me and get me some of their amazing disguises? I'm sure the rest of the guild would appreciate getting some of that gear. Oh, the UFO, we've already been there. We've already done it, basically. We just need some stuff from there. Great, sure, that we can do. Hey, now that you're here, there's something I want to check out. I've been building a training course where I often practice my ward breaking skills. Since I still owe you one from before, I can let you go inside and give it a try. Ah, uh, sure? Alright, let's head over. Alright, let me explain the challenge. You see a bunch of target dummies pop up in the room around you, protected by different wards. If you take them all out before the timer runs out, you pass. You'll be told which wards are coming before each challenge, so you'll have a chance to pick the right abilities. Falling wards, uh, knife and hammer. So, yeah, or sharp and blunt. Gotcha. Start. Boom. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, you got them all. Face falling wards. Okay, uh,. Wait, do... does she...? No. Do I have anyone? Yes. Great, great. Uh, that's dark and sharp. Let's start. I'm a red, I'm a red. I'm gonna destroy you, cause I'm a red. <laughs> boom. Boom. Bam. Boom. Okay. Nice, you got them all. Face the following words. Sharp, whatever, blunt, and light. I think... No, do I have some... Anyone who has all three? Light, blunt, but no sharp. Um, nope, nope. Wait, light, blunt, sharp. Yeah, great. Talk to Knife Road to begin. Start. Okay. Boom. Bam. Okay. Okay. Great, because that still does damage. Although it takes quite a lot of mana. So, oh. Oh, wow. That was with the last second. Also, there's a Buster Sword. Wait, let's... Okay, wait. Well, it managed to defeat, defeat all of my challenges. I'm pretty impressed. Before we go on, let's see. The sword's up on the wall. Upper left is from Halo. Then over to the right is one of the swords from Xenoblade from Shulk. 
Then to the right, I don't know that one. There's a little dagger, I don't know. Then there's the Master Sword. Then I I know that sword from somewhere, I just can't figure out where right now. Then bottom left, we have the Transistor Sword, we have the Buster Sword, we have the Keyblade. So all that I'm missing is the little dagger, that could just be any little dagger, but probably from somewhere. Then the big sword and the red sword. Ah, damn it. Really don't know right now. I'll prepare something harder next time. Let's go back now. Awesome, let's redeem this one. Just a little bit of EXP. Fox collection, this one, that one, gotcha. Open chests, break wards. And we're gonna switch back to the snail for now. And we will go out. Do we have anything else to do here? I don't think so. They have Shank Cola here. <laughs> so I'm thinking... Wait, there's another... There's another quest around the corner. Yeah, over there. Also, there's this chest, which I can't get to because there is a tunnel. Okay, okay. We're making progress. I like this. Welcome to a beautiful town. The nuclear plant meltdown has finally been contained, and to minimal consequences. Yeah, you look like minimal, minimal consequences. <laughs> Alright, that's great. There is a... whatchamacallit? A point, a warp point, fast travel point, whatever. Alright, there is... the bargains. Great, great, great. Totally honest. Mm. <laughs> Good, you're here. Let me explain the operation. The shop next to us got a shipment of fancy new daggers. What I need you to do is very important, so make sure you do exactly as I say and don't mess up. First, make your way through the front door, then pass through the crowd without getting their attention. When you reach the shopkeeper, I demand that they give you one of the daggers as you pull this out of your pocket. One eye gives you 20 bottle caps. What are you looking so confused for? This is how much the store charges for four daggers. Look, it's got a big sale going on now, with one dagger going for five bottle caps. It's absolutely a steal. Well, the catch is that the sale is limited to one per customer, so I figured your form-changing abilities should get us around that. Are you ready now? Head aside and get us four daggers. That's the grand heist. <laughs> hey, can you read the sign? This story is for humans and mutants only. Now get out of my store, you filthy animal. Um... Okay. Welcome in, good sir. Coming from your town for a vacation, not from guard duties. Yeah, sure. Would like you would like to person uh, pur purchase one of our discounted daggers. It costs only five bottle caps. A fine deal, is it? Shopkeeper gives you a discount dagger. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> okay, that sounds an amazing quest. Welcome in, fellow human. Looking to hunt some sea monsters in the Targaryen Lake? Yeah, I'm sure. Almost. Uh-huh. Sure, the usual. We got a discount dagger. I just love this. This, this is such an amazing idea. Welcome in, fellow human. What are you looking for today? <laughs> yep. Give me that. Now, do I have... Wait, do I have another human form? Does the zombie count as a human form? Yeah, okay, yeah. Doesn't. Um... But that doesn't really matter because I do have the bodybuilder. <laughs> Welcome in, fellow human. What are you looking for today? The usual. And we got all of them. <laughs> oh, damn. That's quite hefty. <laughs> Like I mean, it 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 oops, it has quite a a decent AOE, but only very short range. So not sure if I like that. All right, now it took away our rat basically. How about this? Now the rat took. I I don't get how this works. I don't get how they decide which form basically goes away like I seriously don't um, the horse 
Because I would just... Why, why, why was it this one now? Because technically if I switch from the bodybuilder, it should switch uh, to something, shouldn't it? What did I get rid of now? Uh, turtle? Turtle. Well, whatever, let's keep the bodybuilder around for a second, because I just don't feel like playing around with this. Because again, I don't understand the schematics of it. Ah, four beautiful daggers, only 20 bottle caps. It's the biggest deal of my life. Thanks for your help. I'm very impressed by your skill. Awesome. That was pretty dang easy. <laughs> and the UFO thing should also be incredibly easy, right? Like, the, these guys feel easier than the witches. Uh, hey there, I want to dress up as your favorite hero. I have a Randy the Rat costume here. <laughs> no, thank you. Alright, we don't really have money for anything, so what we're gonna do... I see that there's a dungeon down there, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the unidentified object, which was... Where was it again? Here. Un unidentified fallen object. There's quite a big bit of light hitting my face. <laughs> I just noticed. Whatever. Okay, we've been there already, we've done it, so we know that we can do it. Which also means we just go in, find the disguises, go out, and are done with it. Uh, have we talked to this snail as a snail already? Yeah, slug mage, you can raise the dead. Yeah, no, nothing, okay. Um... For now, let's go with the horse for movement speed. Oh, wait. Uh, or we just do this to slow baddies. Okay, okay, okay. Again, not quite sure how to actually slow them or why it doesn't count as slow. Maybe it only counts as slow if I go into them. Because I thought I probably must let them run on my slime, slide, slime, slide, slime, slime. Uh, but it could just be that I have to hit them with my slime slide. That would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Hey, traveler, you're looking to visit Count Grindelwald's Manor? It's just up the mountain. Okay, we've been here already. Um, we should be here. Yeah, we should be right next to the UFO. And that probably counts as me slowing them, right? Let's just say yes. <laughs> yep, that probably did it. That most likely did the trick. Give me this, give me that. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna shoot you. You're gone. The snail is really interesting. Thought it might be quite weak, but like technical or something, but nope, it's just really, really strong. Especially if you use those passives that I'm using so that everything I do has a debuff on it. Which makes our attack pretty dang high. Alright, so let's get in here. It's level 15, so we shouldn't have any problems. Also, again, we've already dealt with it. All we need is some disguises, which we will... Either get from enemies or find lying around. Maybe find in objects. I really don't know. But can't be too hard, can it? Can it? Whatever. That only slowed one of them. That slowed this one. So yeah, I just have to... I just have to ram them till they're slowed. No big deal then. Oh, wait. There is a chest. Which just gives me money and also gets us further in the quest. Okay, the infinite quest thing. Uh, we really want to destroy stuff. And you know what, let's just attack enemies for our hit more slowed baddies. And this guy, now that we have full mana, we can just run into him. 
having slowed. Nope, didn't. Didn't count for some reason. I. Some of the quests in this game I really don't get. Oh, we're already 30 minutes. That was fast. Oh. <laughs> Found an alien disguise. Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. Also, I like it that they make us go back into a dungeon we've already visited. Like, I don't I don't mind uh, revisiting dungeons if I have a reason for that. Like, if it's just go into the same dungeon over and over and over again for some stupid reasons like, yeah, but now it's harder, but now there are more enemies. Eh. In this case, we just... We cleared the dungeon, and now we want something from out of the dungeon. So... Okay, that were a few of them being slowed. I think like five. Which, there were more, more enemies than five, if I think, right? But whatever. Alright. Uh, we are at full mana capacity, so... Doing this should... Yep, that did quite a bit. Love it. Also, these exploding skulls are no match for me. Oops. Ouch. And that's awesome. Because I constantly slow them. So... They really can't get to me to explode. Love it. Also, with the amount of enemies that were there, I really should have used my uh, zombie bite once. <laughs> like, okay, we're gonna do this here. Yep, yep. Two zombies, three zombies, more zombies, four zombies. <laughs> uh, eight more attacks on slowed enemies and six more enemies with slime slide. Yep, that's way easier. Now. You, get slowed for a second, thank you. <laughs> I just have to be near them. That's awesome. There is a chest down there. We want that chest. I could end the episode right now and start the next one in this, but I think we're gonna... Oh, wait, I totally missed an, a chest back there. Great. Done with this, done with that. We just finished two more quests at once. Love it. And you know what? I'm really gonna do that. I'm really gonna end the episode pretty much right here after we get the quest rewards. Because I think since we only found... Ooh. Oh! Form unlocked. Mermaid. Sure. Water burst unlocked. A water projectile that does splash damage to nearby baddies. Ooh. Charge large or... Sp uh, splash attacks. Mermaid's resolve unlocked. 4% of damage you take is restored as mana. Huh. That's interesting. Damage you take. Hmm. Huh. That's actually pretty good for uh, forms that go... Wait. Wait a second. Now, wait. Now, now, hold on for a second. Before I end this episode, we're gonna try something. Now. I am a zombie here. Yeah, I basically lost all my mana right now. But what if... Now, hear me out. <laughs> now hear me out. What if I were to take the Mermaid's Resolve? Oh my goodness, it actually works. Our... Our zombie fight losing health actually counts as damage taken. It doesn't tick up a whole lot, but it actually works. That is fascinating. So on level 30 we might go with that, <laughs> because this one we can't switch out anyway. I love building up poison, especially to get back health, and explosive familiars is also pretty cool. <laughs> Although it's only 10 light damage, but still, that's pretty dang strong anyway oh that's interesting we can get infinite mana basically uh, let's switch back to the slug and oops for now we're gonna end the episode and next episode we're gonna keep going through the UFO thank you nerds so much for watching underrunning a cactus and I gotta run
Bye-bye.